Hello, my name is Dr. Judy Lynn Mitchell. You may call me Lady Read Along. Reading is so much fun. You get to learn new words, see beautiful pictures, and use your imagination. I'm here with my dear friend, Bookie Looky. Oh, hi. And we're going to read you several stories. I know you're going to enjoy them. Let's see which book Bookie Looky wants us to read first. Okay, the title of the book is What Can I See? by Deborah Schickner, Scholastic Book Company. Let's turn the page. Oh my, the little boy is so cute. Oh, he's looking at the ant. I see an ant. Oh my, and look at the ant crawling. I see a stone. Mm, there's a beautiful <laughs> old stone. And the ant is crawling on top of the stone. Oh, and he's got his feet up in the air. Just enjoying looking at the stone and the ant. Let's turn the page. I see a leaf. My. Look at that beautiful leaf. And the little boy is just looking at the leaf. Let's turn the page. I see a home. And now he's looking at this pile of dirt where the ants live. You're correct. A home for the ants. Let's turn the page. I see a bee. Bzzz, bzzz. <laughs> the little boy is looking at the bee. Let's turn the page. I see a flower. Oh, look, and the bee is on top of the flower. And the little boy looks like that. He is just having fun watching all of the beautiful, beautiful flowers and playing in the grass. But no one can see me. <laughs> oh, that's cute. No, the grass is so tall. But I see it right there. Right, look, 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 look. Yes. Wasn't that a delightful book? Okay. What did the little boy see? Tejuela? Oh. You said that he saw an ant. You're right. First he saw the ant. Then the stone. <laughs> a leaf. A home for the ant. A bee. Look at the bumblebee. And a flower. And he's playing peek a boot in the grass. But no one can see me. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back. if Bookie Looky has another book for us to read. Okay, Bookie Looky. The name of this book is Where is Petey? by Deborah Schechner. Scholastic Books. Where is Petey? Is he under the bed? Oh, look at the little boy. He's looking underneath the bed. Is he in the shed? Hmm, I don't see Petey, but I do see a rake. Looks like a shovel. He's looking for Petey. But where, where is Petey? Is he behind the door? And the little boy keeps looking. Is he in the drawer? No. Hmm, I wonder where Petey is. 
is. Is he in the tub? No, but I see a rubber ducky. But I don't see Petey. Is he under the rug? And look at the little boy. He's looking underneath the rug, trying to find Petey. Let's turn the page and see if he found Petey. Oh, here he is. Can you point out who Petey is? This Petey looks like a dog that's playing. Oh, that's wonderful. Looks like he's pretending to be at the tea party. Oh, that is so cute. How adorable. We found out who Petey is. And we also found out, where was he? Oh, you're right, Billy. You are so right. He was at the tea party. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back. Story time on Pack 14. Coming back. Thank you. We are on pack 14 story time. I'm Lady Read Along and I am here with my friend Bookie Looky and oh there's Bear Bear. <laughs> Bear Bear is all ready for the fall. Look at his little pumpkins. Well we have a story today about too many unicorns. You got to use your imagination, okay? That's it. Too many unicorns by Liza Charlesworth, Scholastic Book Company. I wonder what this story is going to be about. Let's turn the page. Once upon a time, there was a unicorn named Sue. She had a horn. She had wings. She had a rainbow tail. Oh, look at Sue. I see her horn. Do you see it, Daniel? Yes, I see her wings. Are you using your imagination? Yes, because now you can see her rainbow tail. Sue lived in Animal Land. She was friends with a cow and a dog and a bear. But Sue was the one and only unicorn. That made her feel sad. Well, let's look at her friends. There's a doggy. <laughs> There's the cow, moo, moo, and there's the bear, ooh, growl, wow, look at that beautiful brown bear, and here's Sue, there's that beautiful rainbow tail, there's her horn, and the wings, and remember you're using your imagination. But Sue was the one and only unicorn. That made her feel sad. Let's turn the page. One day, Sue saw an ad for a place called Unicorn Land. I must go, she said. Oh my goodness. Look, Mrs. Sue's watching the television, <laughs> and it says there's Unicorn Land, and she wants to go. So that's exactly what Sue did. Sue said goodbye to her friends, then all she flew. She started flying to Unicorn Land. Let's turn the page to find out. 
if she made it there safely. Remember, you're using your imagination. Things were different in Unicorn Land. At first, Sue felt happy. Oh, look, she's smiling. Oh, they're happy, happy, happy unicorns. And you see the rainbow in the background? Beautiful, and little flowers. And Oh, looks like they're having so much fun. Sue saw unicorns at the mall. <laughs> Unicorns, unicorns, unicorns. Oh my, use your imagination. Sue saw unicorns at the lake. Unicorns, unicorns, unicorns. Okay, all oh, look like they're having fun at the unicorn lake. Sue saw unicorn at the fair. Unicorns, unicorns. Unicorns, wow, looked like she's having so much fun. The illustrator did an excellent job. Guess what? There were just too many unicorns. So Sue felt sad. Hmm. Now she was sad. What did Sue do? She left Unicorn Land and flew back home. No place like home. Guess what? Sue was the one and only unicorn again. But now Sue felt happy. She was different. She was special. Just like you are. Special. Sue was so happy. Look at her rainbow tail. Oh, look at her wings. And look at the unicorn. And now she's back home in Animal Land with her friends. The dog, the cow, and the brown bear. And now she's happy. Then the unicorn named Sue. And her friends lived happily ever after. Oh, <laughs> they're back together again. Sue is so happy. Mm, and look at their smiles. Okay, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Coming back, boys and girls. Lady Read Along just loves to read. Bookie Lookie, are you enjoying the book? Oh, Bookie Lookie's enjoying all of the books. Our next book is When Night Comes by Deborah Schechner, Scholastic Book Company. When Night Comes. What do you do when night comes? Well, let's find out. When night comes, the mouse comes out. Look at the mouse. Squeak, squeak, squeak. And look at the little girl watching the mouse. When night comes, the owl comes out. Ooh, the owl swoop. He's swooping on Dan. And then there's the mouse. Looks like the mouse is fleeing. When night comes, the moth comes out. Look at the moth. Mm -hmm. Flying, flutter, 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 flying in the air. When night comes, the bat comes out. Look at the bat. Look at the little girl. She's watching. When night comes, the firefly comes out. When night comes, the cat comes out. Meow. And he's right by 
the shrubbery. Yes, look at this. Beautiful. And the little girl is just a smiling because she sees the little cat as he says, Meow, meow. Like, I'm coming out. I'm coming out. Then let's see what other animal comes out. When night comes, the little girl says, I go inside. So she didn't see any more animals, but she was very wise. She said, when night comes, I go inside. Oh, wasn't that a wonderful story? I go inside. Yes, because you want to be safe. And it looked like it was time for her to be with her family. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back. What shines? Hmm, can you think of shiny objects? Can you think of anything that's shiny? Well, let's see what shines by Deborah Schechter, Scholastic Book Company. She says, the sun shines. Look at that bright, bright yellow sun. And she has her sunglasses. The sun shines. A flashlight shines. Look at the little girl. She's walking with her dad and the doggy, and the flashlight is shining. <gasps> Look at the moon. The moon shines. Oh, the dad and the little girl, they're looking up at the moon, and the dogs go, ruff, 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 ruff. He's jumping up and down because he sees the bright moonshine. Hmm. Let's turn the page. A dime shines. Oh, look at the dime. Look at the dime shining. <laughs> and the little girl is just laughing. A dime shines. Hmm. A ring shines. My shoes shine. Oh, look at the cute little shoes. And the dog is looking. I think he likes her shoes because he's back still. Oh, look at this little dress. Oh, that's so cute. She's all dressed up. Oh, then she says, I shine. I shine. And yes, boys and girls, pack 14. You are all shining. Your smile, oh, you shine with your beautiful eyes. Thank you for joining us on Storytime with Bookie Looky, Pack 14. Remember, keep reading, keep smiling, go visit your library, and enjoy your day. Bye-bye. Love you. Lady Ray Long loves you. Bye-bye.